Okay, in this video, we are going to discuss pivot tables in the next few videos also, which are probably the single most used tool to summarize any kind of data in Excel. Now, a detailed discussion of pivot tables is in chapter 43 of the Data Analysis and Business Modeling book, the longest chapter in the book. But we'll see through several examples, I think the main things you need to know about pivot tables to handle, let's say, 80 or 90% of the problems that might come up in sports analytics. So let's look at the NBA data, which I cleaned up. I deleted multiple rows here. In other words, the, the title row appears multiple times. I threw that out. Now, just let me caution you on one thing here. Some players that were traded, like Tayshawn Prince, they're listed for each team they're on, or Brandon Davies here. He was on Brooklyn and Philadelphia. So some of the calculations I do here, like how many players play each position. If a guy was traded, I'm going to count him twice, but I'm just not going to worry about that. Okay. We're going to solve two problems in this video, and then we'll go on to some others. Let's say how many players play each position as listed in column L. Okay, and the positions are just basketball references positions. How many players, again, I'm counting guys who have traded more than once, play each position. And what fraction of the players play each position? And then I want to know for each position, total rebounds and assists, centers get the most rebounds, point guards the most assists. And what percentage of total rebounds and assists come from each position. Now there I do need each player listed for each team we played on. Okay, so trick in a pivot table, uh, I should have a blank row here, you'll see why in a second. Because Excel can basically understand the range you want for a pivot table as long as you have headings in the first row. So in other words, this is the data we want to work with. We'd want to analyze for, again, the files pivotdata.slxf. Uh, pivot data is the file, pivot table data is the file. So as long as you've got blank areas around the data you want to analyze and you click anywhere inside the data, Excel will recognize the data you want to work with. Okay. Now, if you make your data a table like we talked about, then you can refresh, not a data table, but remember those Excel tables, then refresh automatically updates your totals. We'll show you refresh in a couple of minutes. And if your original data changes, then refreshing will automatically update the uh, pivot table also. Okay, so let's focus on this. How many players play each position? So put your cursor anywhere in here and you go insert pivot table, insert menu. So put your cursor in here. You go insert and you go pivot to. Okay, so it gives you the range of data. We've got it's got that good. New worksheet is fine. Don't worry about the data model. Okay, so we'll go new worksheet and then you'll see what's called the field list. And this is the key thing. Let's talk about we'll talk about rows and values uh, for now, and then we'll learn about columns and filters a little bit later. But you think about how you want your data to be summarized. How should it look? Well, we want to count how many players play each position. So we should list positions going down a row. So we'll put them right there. There's all the positions that they've got there. Okay. And basically, we also want to know basically how many people there were. So we just want to count how many players. Now, if you're counting, it doesn't matter what you drag the values. Usually values will be something you want to calculate. But if I just drag position there, I'll get how many people play each position according to basketball reference. So there were 85 centers, there was one forward, there were two guards, etc. Now suppose I want to see the percentage of the total. If you right click and you do show values as, you can do this as a percentage of the total. So this, let's call this sheet position. Okay. So I would go right click, show values as, and I can just do percentage of column. There's a lot of choices there. But now I see what, for, by basketball reference, what percentage of the players play each position. Okay, so that's nice. Okay, 
So now let's get to the next problem, which is a bit harder. For each position, total rebounds, total assists, which we could do with uh, sum if, okay, from last few videos. Okay, but let's just do it with a pivot table. So we're going to want to have the row field be the position, and then we want the rebounds and the assists to be the value fields. But you'll see there's some little quirk that we have to fix. So we put our cursor in here. We do insert pivot table. We've got our data. New worksheet is fine. Okay, so I'm going to say position. Okay, and now what we want to know is rebounds and assists. So where's total rebounds? Here they are. So that goes right there. But beware. Okay, oh, now it's doing some. It, it might do count. I'll show you how to fix that. When I did this the first time, it did a count. It didn't do a sum. If you double click on the column heading, sorry, I got double clicked on the wrong thing there. Okay, so this will be assist. Let's go here, assist and rebounds. Okay, but if you go, you can change the way data is summarized using value field settings. So just let me show you. See, sometimes Excel might do a count instead of doing a sum. So if you right click value field settings, okay, see so you could change that from sum to count. Okay, we don't want to, but originally when I did this to practice, it was on count. And by the way, if you do show values as, you could do the percentage of column. Let's do it that way. Remember we could do the, value, uh, the show values as right off the bat. Okay, but basically let's do right click value field settings, show values as, and then I could say percentage of column. Okay. So now I know the assists, what percentage of the assists were by each position. So the point guards have by far the most assists. And if I do that over here, right click, well, let's go back to show values as percentage of column. Okay. So we see for the centers, they got 26% of the rebounds, but only 9% of the assists. And the point guards got 42% of the assists and 14% of the rebounds. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Now, if you would go right-click refresh, if you changed your data and you made, it would update the pivot table, and if you added new data and you'd made it an Excel table, it would refresh automatically to include the new data, but we don't have to worry about that here. But one little trick on pivot tables before we go on to the next example, if you double-click in a cell in a pivot table, Excel drills down, I think of going to the dentist, I just had two implants put in, drills down to the source data in a separate worksheet. So for example, if I would click here on the rebounds for centers and double click, okay, in this sheet six here, I'll call it uh, center data, you would see all the rows corresponding to centers, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we'll continue with this discussion of pivot tables in the next video, which I hope you'll enjoy. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has... 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.